Welcome to eCarb Trainings, here we are going to discuss about Apache Ant. Apache Ant is a software tool for automating software build processes. It is similar to Make but is implemented using the Java language, requires the Java platform, and is best suited to building Java projects. Ant is platform independent, and XML based format. It easily extendable using Java classes. Apache Ant is an open source Apache project. Apache Ant uses an XML file for its configuration. The default file name is build.xml.ant. Builds are based on three blocks, tasks, targets, and extension points. A task is a unit of work which should be performed and are small, atomic steps, for example compile source code, or create Java doc. Tasks can be grouped into targets. A target can be directly invoked via Apache Ant. Targets can specify their dependencies. Apache Ant will automatically execute dependent targets. Coming to Apache Ant installation. Ant can be downloaded from ant.apache.org. Apache Ant comes bundled as a zip file or a tarball. Simply unwrap the file to some directory where you want to store the executables. Typically unwrap the zip file into c colon backslash program files and rename to c colon backslash program files slash ant slash. This directory is known as ant underscore home. Coming to Apache Ant Setup. Set the ant underscore home environment variable to where you installed ant. Add the ant underscore home slash bin directory to your path. Set the Java home environment variable to the location where you installed Java. Setting environment variables. In Windows, right click on my computer go to, properties then go to, advanced then go to, environment variables. Coming to, Unix. Shell Specific Settings Anatomy of a Build File in Apache Ant Apache Ant's build files are written in XML. Convention is to call file build.xml. Each build file contains a project and at least one target. Targets are composed of some number of tasks. Build files may also contain properties like macros in a make file. Comments are written within blocks. Projects. The project tag is used to define the project you wish to work with. Projects tags typically contain three attributes. Name, a logical name for the project. Default, the default target to execute. And, Beceder, the base directory for which all operations are done relative to. Additionally, a description for the project can be specified from within the project tag. Coming to targets. The target tag has the following required attribute. Name, the logical name for a target. Targets may also have optional attributes, such as Depends, a list of other target names for which this task is dependent upon, the specified task, or tasks get executed first. Description, a description of what a target does. Like make files, targets in ant can depend on some number of other targets. For example, we might have a target to create a jar file, which first depends upon another target to compile the code. A build file may additionally specify a default target tasks. A task represents an action that needs execution. Tasks have a variable number of attributes, which are task-dependent. There are a number of built-in tasks, most of which are things, which you would typically do as part of a build process, create a directory, compile Java source code, run the Java doc tool over some files, create a jar, file from a set of files, remove files or directories, and many, many others. Coming to Initialization Target and Tasks of Apache Ant. Our initialization target creates the build and documentation directories. The MKDIR that is make directory 
task creates a directory here, compilation target and tasks. Our compilation target will compile all Java files in the source directory. The Java C task compiles sources into classes. Note the dependence on the init task running ant with command line. Simply cd into the directory with the build.xml file and type ant to run the project default target. Or type ant followed by the name of a target. For more details on this topic and for supporting details, please visit www.ecartrainings.com or contact on ecarp trainings. Dial from USA to us on plus one seven zero three four four five four eight zero two. Dial from India to us on plus nine one eight one four three one 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 five five five. Dial from UK to us on plus four four two zero three four six eight zero six eight five. Or email us at training at ecartrainings.com. Thank you.